Because to be brave, you are confronting something that scares you, or something that's difficult, or something that's hard. And very often when we are brave, we are taking on things that are wrong, but society tells us they're right. It's brave to confront racism, even though society may say racism is okay. It's brave to confront sexism, even when society says sexism is okay. Women don't mind being on the bottom, they like it that way. It's brave to confront poverty, which we mask under this lovely term, income inequality, as if it's just an accident, you see. So the notion of being brave is hard. It's individual and it is collective. And what I was interested in revisiting in this particular talk and in my work now is why over the last couple of years I started feeling very dispirited. Where are all the brave people? Where is the protest? Where is the pushing back? It's been a tough couple of years, not the last few, but well, you know which ones I'm talking about. I don't have to name those particular presidents for you, for you to get the clue. I wondered about black feminism because I've spent so much time in my career starting off with black feminism, grounded in the works of black women who, when I was a college student in the 60s, and that is when I went to college, yes, I'm that old, I was there, all right, I witnessed it kind of thing. It was fascinating to see the positions that people would take when they were incredibly unpopular. Young black women who would stand up to anybody and say, I have a right to be here. I have a right to be in this social movement. I have a right to be in this school. I have a right to be on this street. And they were amazingly brave. I was not that brave. But I listened and I learned from the people around me. And I said, this is important. I would say, I have a right to be here. But my voice would be quieter than some of those who came before me. That's when I realized it was going to be very important for me to look to the history and the ideas and the culture of black women because if we truly believe what this culture told us about black women, we would all be crazy because we would have committed suicide by accepting those images of ourselves.